guys, welcome back to my channel. So that in today's video, I am going to be doing a cool little fun project for last minute Christmas gifts. And that is uh, making little cards to put money in for gifts. So um, there's a few members of my family that we actually give money for the pre presents because we don't know what to buy them. So, um, I always think it's quite a nice fun way to like decorate it and make it a nice way to, for them to open it up because you can just stick money in a card but I always find it shows a little bit of effort when you actually make the thing to put it in. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. I'm, I'm quite excited. I have exactly, I have an idea in mind. Um, I'm going to be making two of them. And I haven't actually made this one before, I'm just uh, inspired to make it. So, first things first, this is important because uh, an important step, which sounds really stupid, but you have to know how wide and thick it's going to be, so you can make the card thing around it, it does make sense. So annoying. Um, so I am going to use some washi tape because washi tape doesn't do anything and this money is like plastic. It's not plastic but it's um, got like that kind of plastic coating on it. If you're from the UK you get it and most people don't like it. Okay so I've got some Christmas washi tape here. These ones have to be little Christmas puds. So. The reason I'm using this is so I can tape it down so it will be nice and neat for the crafting bit. As I said, this seems like a bit of a weird step but I need this in order to actually be able to create what I want. So, get my pens and pencils at the ready. Right, now this is card. I'm using card because pen and paper will tend to crease. Now, this is why we needed this. I need to know the approximate width of the money itself. Um, depending where you are, it will be different widths, so I'm not going to give any widths, widths, widths or anything in this video because everyone's is going to be into completely different. So, I have a feeling I did it a little bit too far to the edge, so I'm just going to cheat and do it around the other side. So, I am making a Father Christmas stuck in a chimney with his little beaties hanging out. That is the idea. So, um, that one was too close to the edge because I am making a chimney. So, we're going to do it from about here. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just really like the idea of creating something that might be fun for somebody to open. Now, looking at it, I'm thinking that it needs to be a little bit wider. See, I've not actually made this type before. I've just decorated envelopes before. In fact, I think I have a video of it. Uh, on one of my previous videos if you want a different and much simpler idea on how to uh, turn money into a present. The best thing about sketching is you just keep adjusting it until you can find it the right way you like it. Okay, time for the black pen. This is a really, really simple idea. The bare minimum you need, colouring wise, is red and black felt chip pens, some scissors, some sellotape, pencil and a rubber. It's Luckily it's a really nice idea. Um, I am going to go and outline it now. I just thought this 
I often find that you tend to give money to people as last minute gifts because you've literally exhausted all other options and now you have no idea what to buy them. And so you're like, you know what, I'm gonna give them a gift card or, by the way, this will work with a gift card as well. Um, I wanna give them a gift card or a voucher or some money and then you're like, well, okay but it's just money in a card and it seems a little bit boring, which is why you spent so long looking for a present. So, I figured this would be a really nice way. I know I've got a pen on my desk. I'm gonna lean it on there. To uh, decorate your money without having to break the bank or buy lots of additional stuff. Figured I'd uh, make this using uh, things that are inexpensive, like card, or if you've got nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, even brothers or sisters. Someone's bound to have a felt tip. Alrighty, see, this is so easy. Right, next up is the chimney. So, I have a pencil case here. I'm trying to find a good chimney colour. There's bound to be one amongst here. Let's just test it, it's too puffy. Got garnish. Oh, that's like a good chimney colour right there. I'll actually be making two of these. This is the first one I've made. Um, because I have two people to give them to. Okay, so whew, we got this. If you're using um felt tips or non-alcohol pens, I find it's easier or it looks better to go in the direction, like one direction, like what I did with the sh all of that stuff. Um, I just think it looks neater in general. So if you go in all directions, it just looks a bit you tend to overlap the colours more and it can look a bit messy so if you don't want to buy expensive pens or anything like that this is the best way I can think of using them without uh, to make them look nicer without actually breaking the bank. Okay so that is the outline like the basic premise for the card. Now this is where you can either leave it here design wise if you want to but I like using um, gel pens because I find you can add a lot of detail like with the bricks for example you can do bricks and it'll be the grouting between the bricks or highlighting and stuff like that. So I'm just going to do that all with the white pen. Again, this step is technically optional, you don't have to do this, but I just think it looks... Oh, um, a word of a, just, just to say, I am not going to be doing it on this bit, and I will show you why, um, because we're going to cover it up in a minute. Okay, so that is what we are working with. So now, the money part. So, I am going to use a pencil with this quickly. Just 
gonna sketch out where I want it. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy little box cutter to cut where I would like the slit to be. Use a cutting mat if you have one. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna cut around the edges. So we have this little guy and this is where, oh, this money is so annoying. I'm actually gonna tape it down, I think. But this is where the money's gonna be, like held in there. Right. Now you're gonna make the case for it to sit in. So I find the nice easy way so this is the other side of the card that we have saved. So just folded it over so it sits like that. Now we're just gonna try and get it to the right size. So it's a little bit too big. Perfect, so you want it to go over, but not cover it all up. So, now with it on, we're going to draw down. That is going to be the other bit of the chimney. So now I just have to color that in to match. Okay, so now I'm going to do the little, uh, what you call it, bricks again. Okay, so as it is a gift. My next part is I am going to use some stamps to write that person's name. Now it's the finishing bits and tying it all together. So what we need is some sellotape. in there and then put that in its pouch like so and so it's all nice and neat so that is the finished product I'm actually really chuffed for how that turned out especially seeing as how um, I've never made it before I just had it in my head but we've got the little Santa Claus stuck in and then we pull it out and there's the bunny you know what, I'm really chuffed with how this turned out. I hope this gives you an idea for your own little uh, wrapping up money ideas. Um, but yeah, that is my video for today. That is how it all turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Um, but yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. Um, obviously you can tape it down if you don't want it, or push it further down, there we go. If you don't want it to be seen, there we go. But yes, that is my video for today. That's all done and dusted and uh, I'm really chuffed. I only have one more of these to make, which um, I'm really happy with it turned out because this was my idea for both of them. So yes, I hope you guys had a lovely week and I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Bye.